Back in the 1970s, uh, we started in Illinois and in other states to use a yield goal based system of nitrogen recommendation. That's a very appealing system and a logical one. It says if you're going to get high yields, you need a lot of nitrogen to feed those yields. So we certainly need nitrogen fertilizer, but what we've seen over and over again is that if we're going to get a 250 bushel yield, we don't need 250 pounds or 300 pounds of fertilizer nitrogen to get there. That's what the MRTN is. That takes the current nitrogen response data that we've got. And in Illinois, we have a very large database now, hundreds of trials that have been done over the last 10 to 15 years that are part of that database. And they go in, it kind of crunches them together uh, giving different numbers for northern, central, and southern Illinois and provides the best guess at what nitrogen rate we're going to need the next time we grow corn. MRTN stands for maximum return to nitrogen. That suggests, as is the case, that we're doing this as an economic calculation. So when you start using the N-rate calculator, it will first ask you what price of nitrogen do you want to use and what price of corn do you want to use. I've been working with uh, Dan Schaefer on this MRTN for about six years. We have two farms that we switch back and forth. We always do corn after beans. The information I have here is um, from Dan Schaefer of the results of my plot over the years. And it's very obvious that we don't have to put on near the nitrogen that we used to. Since I started using the MRTN, I have definitely put on less nitrogen on my corn crop and I've actually raised a better crop. When I was doing all fall anhydrous, I would put on around 250 pounds of, of anhydrous in the fall with, with NSERV. And uh, again, I was wanting to make sure that I didn't run short. With the MRTN, it's given me the ability to adjust those rates and bring them down to, in our area, what we've seen, 168 to 175 seems to be the sweet spot on these soils and uh, with, with our environment. I would say one of the most important things about using the MRTN is it is easily accessible online. And not everyone is comfortable maybe getting on the computer and looking things up, but most all of us have a, a grandson or a son or daughter that would be glad to look up those kind of results. I think when we look at the nitrogen and phosphorus issue in southern Illinois, it's, it's important to realize that even though phosphorus issues uh, tend to be a bigger issue on the whole for southern Illinois soils and some of the highly erodible lands that we deal with, nitrogen is still a very important management component of crop production in, in the south. This map of the state with the different color shades shows the breakdown of north, central, and southern Illinois zones that we are conducting this research to feed into the MRTN session to make a better nitrogen recommendation by region of the, of the state when we know we're not all the same. The nitrogen trials uh, that I've participated in the last two years uh, looks at different rates all the way from zero and in increments of 50 pounds per acre, it goes all the way up to 250 pounds. The data is a key to making decisions as to how much we should use and uh, exactly when to use it. Years ago, when I, when I got looking at the MRTN rate, I realized it was very close to what I was applying already, and it kind of gave me the confidence to know that I wasn't under-applying, that you know, I could get all the potential out of my corn crop using that rate you know, as opposed to using higher rates. This whole issue of um, nutrient efficiency and how many of our nutrients are making it going off site, it's really a fairly new topic in the time that I've been farming. And I've said all along, if you can show farmers that, you know, lower rate will provide them a bigger economic benefit, that they're going to adopt that pretty quick. But what we need is research. And so as we all are, are looking at our rates as we go forward with the thought of what's going on with nutrient loss reduction strategy and the possibilities that if we don't find ways to, to use our nitrogen as 
smart as we should, shall we say, and, and, and more of it gets into the surface water, then there's more chances of regulation. And we as farmers know regulation brings inefficiencies. And I think most every farm is like this farm. Efficiency is what it's all about. Things that we can do, use our nitrogen as efficient as possible, using the MRTN gives the confidence to use it as efficient as possible, and it has the side benefits of uh, saving money by not putting on uh, more than we need, and also helping keep uh, excess nitrogen out of surface water.